So I've got a bunch of the sea urchin, they're just sitting here in my sink. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a basic um, sea urchin butter. Um, I've had this, this is about 500 grams of butter, but I'm only going to use half of it. So I've had this guy um, out for a couple of hours now sitting at room temperature to get him nice and soft. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, whip my um, butter. The idea is that we've got a fat um, and then the sea urchin, um, as you know, grow in the ocean, so they do have water in them, and we're gonna use the roe of the sea urchin. Um, but what we actually need to do is get them to emulsify into the fat. So the way you do that is through um, friction. So, so this is its beak, um, and this is the best way to actually get into the sea urchin. So you just need a pair of scissors that can open up, and then I'm just gonna break. So he's actually got a shell, and all I'm doing is opening opening up the beak of the actual sea urchin to be able to get all of its guts out. And then you're just gonna shake him like so over a bowl. As you can see, they're just all like um, bits of it inside. That's the beak itself that actually eats the seaweed. And then these are all just bits of the seaweed itself. And then what you can actually do is, it's hard to see on the camera, but the row live on the inside of, around this bit of the shell. And so I'm gonna crack one open and show you, but you basically look on the inside to cut into the sea urchin itself. Now you can touch them carefully. They're not gonna hurt you too much. But as you can see, I actually cut um, around the row itself because we don't actually want to damage the row. Um, I'm gonna grab a little bowl here and show you a little trick. Um, I would normally do this in ocean water, but just for today, I'm just gonna show you something. So you just grab a spoon, and then all you're gonna do is grab the row out like so. And then you can actually just wash him in a bit of water to get um, all of that, um, all its guts off it. All right, so I have um, the row of probably about four sea urchin. I'm gonna pop my mixer back on just to put it onto slow. The idea is that um, it's a bit like making a mayonnaise. You want to emulsify the, um, the two, the fat and the, the watery ingredient together. So I'm just gonna pop this in slowly. The other thing I'll just mention is um, this is salted butter. Um, I, I very rarely use unsalted butter, maybe in baking. Um, the thing, uh, the thing I was going to mention is that when you're cooking with this butter, you don't need to be overly, um, you know, um, concerned about the little chunks of sea urchin in this that haven't emulsified into the butter yet. And the butter will turn like this sort of light orangey color. And depending on the type of row that you harvest will also change the color of the butter. So if you have more of a red row, it will go a little bit more um, dark brownie. And then obviously if you have a brighter orange row, it will go um, more orange. So you're kind of just looking for the fact that the two are gonna emulsify and join together. Thank you. 